came out with these bite-sized eyeshadows and I did get two of them if you saw a video where I went to Walmart I ended up picking two of them and they look like this I did try this one out and I was completely obsessed so I want to do a quick tutorial this retails for three dollars oh my god no I did not just do that well besides that happening the colors are beautiful this one is called rose water so let's go ahead and start with the tutorial so we're gonna insert some swatches of the prime my eyes as always I'm just gonna be using this Lorac eye primer now I'm gonna start with this shade right here it's gonna put that on the crease using this Mac 224 brush Now I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette, switch brushes, I'm going to be using this Luxie 237, I'm going to pack it in the outer corner. It's really easy to blend, it's not giving me a hard time at all. I've had some much more expensive shadows brands and they perform horrible. So I'm concentrating it in the outer corner but I'm going to bring it up to like almost the middle do work the colors higher than you would usually blend it up to but I have a hooded eye so you wouldn't be able to see it if I close my eyes so I have to work it higher just taking this Tati Beauty sponge and just making sure to just clean that outer corner for any fallout there's not a lot you could also apply tape if you wanted to gonna cut the crease just so it could be a much more crisp look clean look use any concealer of your choice today I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer in fair neutral just take a brush like this so I can apply it precisely I'm just gonna put it like about half of the crease about up to there and then you can take your finger and just blend that out a bit just where that concealer ends and this just makes the color pop so much more too All right now I'm taking the this color here which is so beautiful we're gonna use every color in this palette but we'll start with this one and we're gonna put it in the inner corner and I'm gonna take the Mac 242 brush I'm also gonna pack it in with my finger taking this color right here and we're just gonna basically blend that together so there is not a harsh line like right now you see that now I'm gonna go back with my finger to just intensify that inner corner also try these like wet like wetting the brush I imagine that would make them pop a lot too. Alright, I'm gonna go back with the Luxie brush. Take that dark color and just go back in the crease and just blend that out with that dark shade. Taking this MAC pencil brush, the 219 I believe it is, and I'm gonna pack that on the lower lash line. Very little. I'm gonna blend that out so it's not like super harsh. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna like squeeze it a bit and I'm just gonna go over it like this. I'll take maybe something like this, you don't have to do this step, and just put like something there in the inner corner. Love adding a bit of highlighted effect in the inner corner. It's just a Huda nude light palette i do have a video on it if you want to see it apply some eyeliner lashes and i'll be right back to show you the finished look all right so i just put some eyelor lashes i put some bottom lash mascara zoom in so you can see the finished look
thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.